Galadon host your its clans of clash of fans fellow back welcome and thank you for stopping by the video today we've got some exciting town hall 14 action and of course I am going to peruse through the comments and respond to quite a few and in fact I just wanted to start out today's episode and say that I think I have the best community ever okay now clash of clans is a pretty amazing community in and of itself but within the Clash of Clans community, the Galafam, the people that comment on my videos, you guys, you are flipping all-stars. You absolutely are. YouTube isn't known for the best comments, right? You know there's a lot of trolls and negativity down there. I've found that actually over the years, things have just gotten better. They have actually improved, and part of it is because I get fewer views than I used to. Believe it or not, it's actually a good thing because what we're getting is more of the true Clash fans, the diehard fans, the Gala fan members who enjoy the content and keep coming back again and again. I really appreciate you guys. You do make my day every single day, even if you don't have time to comment. I know that you guys stop by the videos. I appreciate it, and I do my best to get down to the comments to heart and reply to as many as I humanly possibly can. Uh, there's just simply not enough hours in the day to get to all of them, but I try my best. Now, I will tell you that that also does mean that I troll the comments a little bit, and I am a little bit salty when it comes to some of the weird and odd and negative comments that get left. And I will tell you right now, I don't take anything personally. I think that it's critical as a content creator that you are thick-skinned, that you realize that negativity directed towards you is usually more of a reflection of that person than of yourself. And I think that's something that all of us should remember in life. But I'll get back into a little more gala philosophy with a couple of these interesting comments as we get into the comments from recent videos. Now, first of all, Alejandro wins for the nicest way to ask about a gold pass that I've seen in a long, long time. Of course, I would love to give away more gold passes. Hopefully with the Supercell store, we will be able to soon. Right now, really the only way I can do it is with $5 gift cards and I give out tons of them in pretty much every single live stream. So make sure you stop by a Facebook live stream. Okay, first critical question from Navanith about the math and the number of buildings in a base. I've seen a few players ask about this, so I just wanted to go ahead and say that if we do get to over 100 buildings, it's not going to be a critical point in the game because it will just mean that each base will be worth a fractional percentage, like 0.9% instead of 1%, and there will be a couple of times or at least one time during the attack that a building won't count for an additional percentage point. That's how you can handle having over 100 buildings in a Town Hall 15. Also, thank you guys so much for the well wishes when I had food poisoning recently. I don't pin comments, but this is the closest I've ever come. FCOTD is my favorite comment of the day. A question about how I got into Clash of Clans and my first impressions. I was looking for like an MMORPG like World of Warcraft. Definitely surprised and a little known fact, you know that when Chief Pat first downloaded Clash of Clans, because the tutorial kept on saying Chief, he mistakenly thought that the game was going to be set in the Old West and it was referring to Native American Indians, so he named himself Chief Pat. Just, I thought that was an interesting little piece of information about the Chief. Okay, just a moment to argue with Chris, who I believe has oversimplified my simplification of the balance of the game at Town Hall 14. I did not actually say in the video, if you watch the whole thing, that Clash of Clans is broken. What I did say is for top level competition, world championship play, there needs to be a balance so that not every single player is three-starring. Obviously, that does not pose a problem for the average player, nor would I ever think that. I always say that these guys in those Champion 1 clans are attacking head and shoulders above the rest of us. But if Clash of Clans wants to give out a million dollars in prize money each year with a world championship that they expect people to watch, then offense and defense need to be balanced in such a way that even the very best players in the world could not achieve three stars. And this is a nearly impossible task because what they need to do is find a middle ground where the average player is going to have success 
meaning probably get a two star most of the time because you don't want to frustrate average players, yet you need to make it difficult for even the very best pros to get a three star frequently, and that is much more difficult than it sounds, and something that I'm sure the Clash team is constantly working on behind the scenes. Okay, completely unrelated and non sequitur is the fact that me, Galadon, sounds just like Megalodon, right? And I thought this was pretty cool. So recently, I actually went out and purchased a few of the ancient petrified shark's teeth, and I've been giving them away in my live streams, signed by me, Galadon. Okay, moving on. And yes, speaking of slightly trolling in the comments, in the recent Gold Pass Clash episode, I told you guys to go down below to the comments and upvote the comment that you preferred, whether I should rush to 12 or not. Of course, the problem here lies in YouTube and the fact that you cannot pin two comments. So in the idea of being fair, I just left two comments down there. People could not find them, so they ended up leaving their own comments, which further buried my own comments, and they never really surfaced until I finally pinned the one that I preferred, and that was, go ahead and go to Town Hall 12 at the end of the month, Galadon. So thank you once again, and yes, in the end of May, Gold Pass Clash goes to Town Hall 12. Now, speaking of leaving comments at the bottom of the videos, let me know I am searching for the world record holder of watching my videos the most times. Which video and how many times have you watched it? Let me know in the comments. Next up, Relago says he is having difficulty with YouTube in finding my videos. Instead of finding a Galadon video, he gets one for never going to give you up. But don't worry, Relago, I will be here every day making Clash of Clans videos. I'm never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. Next up, Mr. Samsung, I have to strongly disagree with your opinion about Builder Huts being weak. Let's just for a moment compare the two. Here is a level 19 Archer Tower fully maxed out next to a level 4 Builder Hut fully maxed out. The Builder Hut only does about 10% less damage. They have the same number of hit points and you have to add the healing power of the Builder itself. Yes, the Builder Hut has a smaller range, but come on, they are critical, super strong, and you should be upgrading them ASAP. Now, I know at the beginning of today's video, I talked about how amazing the community is and how cool the comments are for the most part. Obviously, that cannot always be true, and sometimes there are some comments that maybe are just not the greatest or they don't really even need a comment on the comments. So, I'm going to put these up. You guys can go ahead and read through them at your leisure. I admit that occasionally I do troll in the replies to the comments, but it is kind of fun. I have a good time, and I hope that nobody takes it personally. I definitely don't take anything that I see down there personally. And again, like I said earlier, you need to remember that if somebody is really, really being negative towards you, that it's more likely that that is a reflection of that person and where they are in life right now or what their mood is, or maybe they're not getting enough attention from their peer group or their boyfriend, girlfriend, or they don't have one or their parents or their job. You never really know what another person's personal life or situation is unless you've lived a day in their shoes, which is pretty much impossible. So I think it's good to try to be tolerant of other people as much as you can and try to look on the bright side. I think that in this day and age, it is easier to criticize someone than to compliment them. And I think that we see that way too much. So do your best to say something positive to a friend or a family member today. Point out something that you like or love about them and appreciate about them. And you would be surprised how far that will go, not only for the other person, but for you as well. I really believe that. And I know that I'm saying this right now while I am in the midst of showing you comments where I am being salty and snapping back at a bunch of my viewers. And I'm just, again, saying that this is all in lighthearted fun. I hope you guys enjoy these episodes and I hope you guys enjoy the comments because I'm loving it. I have a lot of fun going down there and, you know, trolling and just hearing the kind things that people have to say. I get taught something pretty much every day by the comments down there. People are very informative and uh, sometimes they, they share an awful lot. But you know what? That's cool. That's one of the reasons I also love to live stream because it's an opportunity to interact with you guys, to have more of a conversation than just this one way me blah, blah, blowing into the microphone for 10 minutes a day. You guys can come by a live stream and talk with me. And remember, every single live stream that I do 
on Facebook Gaming is saved as a video on demand. So if 10 minutes of Galadon is not enough each day, you can stop by Facebook Gaming and you can literally see thousands of hours of Galadon. It's true. You could watch me for thousands of hours. Who would ever want to do that? I don't know. But, you know, well, hey, no, no offense to the people that come to all my live streams. I appreciate you guys. I'm just saying. But it's there. For those of you that want more Galadon, absolutely. I put the URL right here at the end of the video. It will be there. fb.gg slash real Galadon gaming. And of course, in the description as well. So thank you guys for reading the comments. Thank you guys for watching these videos. You know that makes you the true hashtag Galfam. And that is why I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Unless it's the end of your day, then have a fantastic tomorrow. I'll see you back here later on tomorrow, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, later on today, maybe today for more full attacks. Is it later on today, tomorrow anyway? So what are you saying?